In this next tutorial, we'll take a quick look at using guidelines. So I have my document here, and I've got some text there that I'm going to use to adjust when I drag in my guidelines. So what I do is I go up to my ruler, and under view, you can see that there's a kind of off on switch here for hiding rulers. You can do control R, or you can just click there and it'll hide the rulers. But generally speaking, you want the rulers to be on because you use guidelines a fair bit. So what we do is we drag them out from the ruler. Now there's a variety of different ways you can use them. You can use it to divide up your page singly. But the best thing to do is to separate your objects using a specific number. And InDesign works in picas, which is about four millimeters or a sixth of an inch. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it and then I'm going to drag another one out. And for our purposes, we're going to do everything that's one pica apart. So what this does is it creates a place for you to place an object, but also give a little bit of space between each object. And if we make it all one pica apart, it will look even and well designed. So on this guideline, I'm at 33 point, uh, 33 picas and six, which is about half, which is half a pica. So picas are divided up into 12. So 33 and a half picas. I can adjust that using these little arrows up and down. You can see the guideline is moving closer and now it's moving farther away. Sometimes it's a little easier to adjust it there than it is to try and drag it and place it perfectly. So one is at 33p6, and if I go to the other guideline, it's 32 and a half or 6 twelfths of a pica. So that is exactly one pica apart. And I can drag them down as well. So I'm going to place my guideline. Let's go to 12 picas. Uh, so I can't get it there exactly. I'm not going to waste time. I'm just going to go to 12 picas using these. And I'm going to drag one down to 11. And again, I'm just going to place it perfectly by using those. And I can use as many as I want. And if I'm going to follow the one pica rule, I'm going to use it on all sides. So now I can take my text box and I can adjust it. I can move it around and I'm going to place it using my margins as well. You remember in the when we did document, a uh, new document, we did um, three picas for each margin. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place everything inside this purple line, which identifies my margins, three picas from the edge of the page. And I'm going to use these guidelines to place things. So that's basically how you drag in a guideline and an easy way to adjust it by using these X and Y coordinates that appear when I click on the line. I can adjust it at any time. Now the other thing I can do is I can go to my uh, view, grids and guides, and I can hide them temporarily. So they go away. I can go back and show them again. I can also, once they're set, go to my grids and guides and lock them. So that way I cannot select them, I can't click on them, I can't accidentally move them. They're locked in place. So once I drag one in, if I want to divide up my page further, let's make sure I didn't move that. It's locked as well. So I can go here to, if I'm adding more in, I can unlock the guides and I click on it. I did move it a little bit too much. So I'm going to go to 30 and 31. You can see that little gray box there. It's kind of flickering. Tells me exactly where I'm at, 31 PO, and then it will tell me exactly where it's at up there as well. So now I could drag more things in. So if I want to put in a picture frame in each of these, I can use it. And you see it kind of snaps to those guidelines. Uh, and if I miss, what I can do is adjust it later. I go to my black arrow 
and that allows me to grab each line and place it. Oops, that was the guideline. Grab each line and place it right on the margins and on the guidelines. And so now I have an evenly spaced document. Okay, the other thing I can do if I want to place things is I can show the document grid or the baseline grid. So the document grid is that, and then I can choose under these to snap it to the document grid so I will it will line up perfectly with whatever uh, grid line I choose both vertical and horizontal so I can turn that on as well and so when I draw a picture frame I can get it perfectly in this square and it will snap to those guidelines there so I could place a number of different picture boxes side by side perfectly in there the other one I can do is, of course, turn off and off snap to guides. So if I want to just use the document grid and snap to that, I can turn snap to guides off and I can um, just use my grid or vice versa. So I'm going to hide that grid uh, and that is basically how to use some of the guidelines and document grid features to place objects perfectly and nicely and evenly inside your document.